integrity. I think Mark learned and observed the importance of that component when he was in the lending business for a long time and uh, how important it is to tell the truth and to stay to that what you said you would do and stick to it no matter what. And he's real big on that. And I think he wants to see that kind of attitude regenerated for years to come with other people. Mark helped me with my first real estate loan. And that was really the first time I'd known of Mark, but that was the first time professionally we'd worked together. So, and, 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 I, and I'll never forget, I was very nervous, I was very young, and again, I was very clueless. And, uh, you know, you just, as I walked in, and Mark was just one of those guys that you felt very comfortable with. He was very outgoing. And uh, that was really the beginning of a, of a lifelong relationship. Mark is a guy that I've known since I've been um, at work here in Lawrence, since I was 24 years old, as a guy who, uh, is active in the community, uh, cares about other people, um, fun guy, but a guy who really just um, is very interested in making Lawrence a better place to live. Mark is a genuinely curious individual, uh, not so that he can just find out things to gossip about, and not like an engineer that wants to know how things work. His, uh, his curiosity really has to do with people. Who's doing what and why are they doing it? He's intrigued by that, and it served him well because he he knows a lot of people and knows a lot of what they're doing. Um, it intrigues him and he's willing to share that, but again, not in a gossip form. It's really about uh, uh, understanding the fabric and dynamic of a community. Our relationship as it grew, you know, wasn't just professional. I mean, we became good friends. And I really look at Mark as kind of the brother that I never had, the older brother, the Henri older brother that I never had. And the thing that I really came to value so much about Mark was that no matter how we had a lot of fun, but no matter how tough things might have gotten, uh, he was always there. He was always in. He was the first one to jump into a mess or a problem and to say, hey, we're going to get it fixed. And he would bring, he'd get pretty fired up at times, but he would also bring, there was a confidence that there's nothing that we can't get figured out. He was a big part of the decision that caused the western two-thirds of the traffic way to be built back in the mid-90s, and I'm convinced that if they hadn't had the courage to take that step, even though they couldn't do the final link for the eastern portion, that we wouldn't have any of the traffic way today. That was a result of his leadership, and it's taken a while to become a reality, but if he hadn't taken those steps as a leader of the community 25 years ago, we probably wouldn't have a traffic way to drive on starting this fall. You know, Mark comes off sometimes to some, some people as sort of gruff and direct, um, not, a, not a hard guy, but um, sort of to the point. But I'll tell you, Mark, Mark Bueller is one of the most thoughtful, kind, considerate, compassionate people I know. Um, and after that ex uh, exterior that sometimes com comes off as a bit brusque, uh, uh, and quick to judge, that's not Mark Bueller. Mark Bueller is a very, very thoughtful, bright, energetic guy who is gonna consider all points of view and make the decision that he thinks is, is best for uh, the overall community of Lawrence. Well, he makes things fun. You know, even in uh, tough situations, he'll laugh and uh, laugh at himself and just kind of uh, uh, laugh at the general situation, not to make light of it, but just to realize at times maybe we shouldn't all take ourselves so seriously. People like Mark and the other recipients this year um, that had made the decision to just be all in, to say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be all in in this town. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to serve. I'm going to step up. If you've never served in a position of leadership or genuine authority and the responsibility that comes with that, particularly when you're working not just in your business, but when you're working in the community. You can't realize, you, you don't appreciate the price that that takes, not just on the individual like Mark, but on his family. But to really step up like Mark has and to take on these additional leadership responsibilities outside of being a good business owner and a good real estate broker and a good sales manager and a good friend, you know, is the reason why that, uh, that this town is really a great place and that people want to be here. So I just want to say thanks.